just arrived at suite 206 and Josh is going to be getting his wisdom tooth pulled. Ugh. He's nervous, but you're going to be totally fine. I hope. So everyone say a little prayer and cross your fingers for him. <laughs> Going in. If I don't make it out live. <laughs> you will. I'm interested to see how swollen his cheek will get because it's just one tooth. So probably not very bad, but all right, we're going in. He survived. Your cheek does oh, not, it, hurts this it doesn't even look that swollen, honestly. Because I already have huge cheeks. Well, no, it, oh, was, it, it was more swollen before. So you're looking good. Tell us about it. They were really good. They were really nice. But they injected me with, the, I think it's like Novocaine or something. And they went to take the scalpel to make the cut my gum because it was only halfway out. Because one, my back molar was like this, and my wisdom tooth was growing right into it, like, horizontal. And so he made the first cut, and I felt it. So then I was like, I like put my hand up, and I was like, mm, my head hurts. And he's like, you can feel that? And I was like, yeah. So then he did it again. So then after he did that, he cut it even more. And then he started doing something, and I, oh, I could feel it again. So then I was like, oh, and he's like, man because my tooth was so like, my gums were so inflamed because my tooth was bothering me so much, something about the medicine didn't go through very fast or something, I don't know. So, but after that, my whole face was numb so I couldn't feel anything. It was just loud and I could hear my teeth cracking and, yep. and then came home to recover. It was really fast. I was in the waiting room waiting for him, and I couldn't even believe it. I feel like he went in, and then he walked out. And I was like, what? How is it already over? It was crazy. And they gave him a souvenir. They gave him his tooth. Isn't that weird? It's pretty gross. Pretty gross got, like, and huge. On it. So I think Josh is, needs to put his tooth under his pillow, don't you guys? Maybe the tooth fairy will come. I don't know. Well, that's a pretty big tooth, so... I know, so maybe you'll get, like, a like big it's, prize. It's weight in gold or something. Do you want to show it, or is that gross? It's pretty gross. I mean... If you're, um... If this will gross you out, don't look. It's cracked in half, so wait. Here's the two pieces. Ew! But yeah, I thought it... In the video, I saw that it, they usually crack it, like, oh. that way, but they... Well, they probably do, but your tooth was growing in... The other way, yes. you know. So, they mm. you said they did put a couple stitches in your mouth. I th yeah, there's I think there's a stitch or two in there, but there's like a hole. Yeah. So. He had tomato soup for dinner. Half a can. And I'm sure he's starving because. Are you starving? It's like it's so frustrating because. Like, usually when you get out of, like, surgery, you don't really want to eat because you're, like, messed up from the medicine that they yeah. give you. Like, you're kind of sick, so you don't want to. My tooth just hurts, but I'm still hungry. Like, <laughs> I still want, like, oh, and tell pizza them, tonight. Okay, okay, listen to the one thing that he's especially not allowed to eat. Okay, listen. What is it? I don't even want to talk about <laughs> it. <laughs> Josh's favorite food on earth. Can't have any rice. Aww. That's the little things I guess can get in the hole or whatever. So sad. That is like pure torture for him. So no rice for three days? Or longer? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I so anyways. To think about it. Here's his medicine. He hasn't taken the Vicodin, but you have to take an antibiotic or something? Yeah. Oh. You need to take it. I need to take it right now. Right now. So he's just been chilling and hanging out and trying to recover and trying to like not think about his tooth, but it's kind of hard. When I first came home, everything was so numb. I was like, all right, like I can't feel anything. This is gonna be great. And then, like literally, it all wore off, like at once. And it was like, I just laid on the bed and I was like, what am I doing? So, we're gonna watch Ponyo. It's been a good birthday. Today was my birthday, by the way. And it was good. We mm. didn't really do much. He stayed home after his thing, and then I went to my brother's soccer game. 
and then we came back and we ordered pizza and poor Josh couldn't eat it. And now we're gonna watch Ponyo. I love this movie, it's so good. Look at, this is what I keep my peels in. This little jar we got in England. I took a whole bunch of these out of one of our hotels. They, these were full of jam and I thought, how cute are these? I could use these jars. So I saved them. I have like six of them, so. Anyways, we're gonna watch Ponyo. Olive, you ready to watch a movie? Yeah? Do you want to go in your house? You haven't gone in your house today? Go in your house. Get up. Go in there. No? What's inside? What's in there? Good girl. She just likes to tear her bed out. It's her favorite thing to do. Alright, well, we'll see you guys later. Josh is doing good. He'll be back to normal in no time, so. We'll have to see what the tooth fairy leaves, though. <laughs> good night!